What's up guys, Luke here and today we're going to be talking about life after signups. So without further ado, let's go on with the video. But before we get on with the video, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the new YouTube intro, do you like it, do you not like it? But let's get on with the topic that we were talking about today which is life after signups. So you signed up for match betting. If you don't know what I'm on about with match betting I do have a link in the description below to a video where I give you an introduction to match betting and all that stuff. So you've worked through the sign up offers, you've done them all and you're now thinking what do I do next? What, what have I got available to me? How do I proceed? With sign up offers, it's very easy to know exactly what you're supposed to do. You have a list of sign up offers, whether it's on Profit Accumulator or Odds Monkey. You work through them in order, and that's that. Easy enough. With stuff like reload offers, it's a bit more difficult to figure out A, is there any value in it? B, is it worth doing? Um, and C, is it worth doing in terms of the time that it takes? And do I have the bankroll to do it? So the easiest way to get started with moving into reload offers is bet clubs. Now weekly bet clubs are essentially this kind of bookmaker exclusive rewards clubs. They give you weekly free bets when you bet a certain amount with them during the week. They're very easy and very quick to do and they're consistent income. Now something to just make any everyone aware if they're watching this video if you only exclusively do bet clubs with a certain bookmaker you will eventually be gubbed and removed from well you won't have access to their bet clubs so if you are going to be doing bet clubs week in week out i would stress that you want to combine it with other bets whether that be extra places whether that be two ups just don't just do your your weekly bet club because you will just get gubbed and then you won't have access to, the, to it at all. But also don't worry too much about if you do get gubbed because at the end of the day match betting isn't a thing you're going to be able to do for 20, 30 years. It does have its limited time frame by the time that you get, get gubbed on all of your accounts. But that's not a bad thing. We take it as we can get it, while we can get it. So additional to this, there's a couple of other ones, a couple of other offers from certain bookmakers that you can do on a kind of weekly basis or daily basis. And if you're on Odds Monkey, all of these will be listed in the daily offer calendar. And if you're on Profit Accumulator, there is a thread in the community forum of how to make a thousand pound a month and how to make 300 pound a month. Both will list these kind of daily offers. So additional to kind of these simple, easy, quick money, you've got the access to the higher profits with extra places, racing refunds, ACA refunds, and two ups. Essentially, I won't go into too much depth in each of them in this video because we, we, we would be here for ages. So I will make a, a specialist video on EPs, ACA refund offers, and two ups. But the racing refunds I will cover. So if you're on Odds Monkey, if you go into the racing match, you'll see that for certain races, it'll give you uh, an offer. So it might be William Hill say, we'll give you a refund up to £10 as a free bet if your horse comes second. So what you essentially do is you're backing and laying a horse. And if it comes second, you get £10 free bet. If it doesn't, then you just lose a small a small bit so it might be 30 pence but then if it does come second you get eight pound worth of value basically from your 10 pound free bet so that's a solid bit of profit as well as this you have your extra places which is essentially you're backing a horse each way so each way being you're backing it to win and you're also backing it to place now place typically means the top four top five top six something like that and then what you're doing is you're also laying the win and laying the place, but the difference being is on Smarkets, the place lay 
is essentially for maybe the top four, whereas the bookmaker is paying out if the top if you're in the top five. So if your horse finishes fifth, not only do you win your bookmaker bet because it's in the top five, but you also win your smarkets bets because it's not one and it's not in the top four. So most of the time you'll take a small qualifying loss, but then if you do get that extra place, then you do get a lot of money. And last up, you've got your two ups. Your two ups are essentially this uh, this offer from Bet365, Paddy Power, and Star Sports, where if your football team goes two goals ahead at any point during a game, they'll pay out as if they've won the game, no matter the outcome. Now, most of the time, that team will go on and win, but there is, I think it's around 2 to 3% of the time, they won't. And when they don't, that's called a full turnaround, and it means you win both your bets. Because, let's say it was Arsenal versus Tottenham. Arsenal go 2-0 ahead, and you bet on Arsenal. Bet 3-6-5 pay out as if Arsenal have won. What if it then goes to 2-2, and it's a draw? Well, Smarkets pay out because Arsenal did not win, but Bet365 have paid out because they went two goals ahead. So you win both your bets. I'll talk through in detail my strategy on how I get most value from extra places, ACA refunds and two ups. But I do realize I've not covered ACA refunds. So essentially ACA refunds, you'll maybe have to put five different bits on an accumulator. Uh, I will also leave a video in the description below if you don't know what I'm on about with an accumulator. And if one bet, one leg of that five fold accumulator loses, you'll get a free bet. So in some cases it's a free bet, sometimes it's refund as cash, but essentially what you're doing is you're backing and laying a ton of games. If they all win or maybe two lose or something like that, you take this small qualifying loss, but if only one loses and the rest win, then you get this value from a free bet or a refund. But yeah, those three things I will cover in specialized videos over the next maybe week or two depending on how we kind of get on with videos. But I hope all this has been useful and you're kind of a bit more confident in progressing after signups. Don't worry, when you're finished the signups, it is a bit scary because it's like, I don't know where am I getting any profit from? It's honestly okay. And I will also make a video talking about what do you do after you get gubbed? Is it just the end or is there more you can do? So if this video has been useful, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.